Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here. Welcome back. If you haven't checked me out over on Instagram yet, please do. It's a great place for me to interact with you a little bit more, to make announcements about what's coming up on the channel, and also I have an opportunity to show you the items in a little bit more detail sometimes. So I usually like to think about my style as kind of classic, kind of elegant, sort of sophisticated, but you all know I love me some Disney, I love some whimsy, I love things that are cute as well, and that said, I am so excited today to share the Pusheen box with you. So Pusheen box is put out by Culturefly. Culturefly does a couple different boxes about different fandoms, so like they have an office box, they have a couple different fun ones that I've sort of toyed around with getting, but Pusheen I just think is so adorable, this little gray cat, and there's all these cute plushes and figurines, and I have gotten this box once before, so definitely check that video out if you haven't already. They do some spoilers, they did some spring spoilers, and I have been looking forward to this box so much because I don't actually know all of the contents, but look how cute that box is with all of the like florals, and then it's always got a little Pusheen right here. We've got Pusheen's little tail on the back, and then I love this detail. They put Pusheen's little paws on the bottom, so I just think these boxes are so adorable. Mine did come in a plastic wrap, so that's why it's in pretty good condition. It did get a little bit dented up, but it's probably one that I will keep for a while to use for storage. So let's get inside. Just some details for you. I'm so excited. I forgot to tell you how much Pusheen Box costs. It is a seasonal subscription and it is $43.95 per season. If you do an annual subscription where you're going to get four boxes, that brings the price down even more. I believe the shipping is about $6. So when you consider a seasonal lifestyle box, yes, you have to like Pusheen because he's on every single thing. Um, it's still under $50, which I feel like is a really good price considering that there are monthly subscriptions that are over $50 and this is seasonal. So really fun, beautiful items. So inside, whoo, I don't want to rip the box. We've got a little picture of Pusheen there on the inside of the cover. And then we've just got this little card that tells us the theme. So I kind of had an idea of the theme from the spoilers and it just says sprout which is adorable. So it's kind of got like a gardening theme to it. On the back, we've got the spoiler card that tells us everything that's in here. There are no retail values because these are all kind of within the fandom, right? They're producing all of these items versus collecting them from different vendors, but it looks pretty cute. And so far, all of the boxes that I have seen have always included a vinyl figurine. Now, I'm not like someone who collects pops. I'm not someone who really collects figurines, but I'll hold on to them and eventually I will probably resell them to another push fan but like the last box was a baking theme and I got a really cute sweatshirt um, and then I actually I kept the damaged one and gave my friend Lucia over at laughing without an accent the replacement one that they sent for me and then I also got like a baking cooling rack which I think I actually sold and I realized that was a mistake I got like this really fun like desk vacuum which at first I thought was like something I would never ever use and I totally use it and it's adorable sitting on my desk um, but they wound up being like really fun items so I'm hoping for that in this box as well so the first item is one that was a spoiler and it's this really nice like silky robe and I actually don't have like a little like lightweight robe to wear around the house. I don't even have like a fuzzy robe to wear around the house but since I've been spending so much time and it is getting really warm it's nice to just kind of cool off with a quick shower and then it would be nice to just wear this super silky robe and like the material is really nice and soft it doesn't feel like cheap at all I'm actually very pleasantly surprised so it just has this nice like floral design I like these colors it's so cute and then it's just got little pusheens kind of hidden around so it's kind of like it's like a subtle sophisticated pusheen robe Robe. It says wrap yourself in this silky robe whenever you are in need of some relaxation and I think it just came in the different size variations. It does have a little tie to it so this is just adorable. I think this is so cute. I'm just trying to see if there's there are some like loops so you can keep the tie tied in it. I almost feel like if you were gonna be really crazy you could actually like wear this out. It's kind of like that um, silky robe that we got like a kimono in the Rachel Zoe box of style, just without the cute, 
cute chubby gray cat on them but I feel like you could almost like wear this out with like a white white tank and jeans and it would like look really cool and people wouldn't even like know that Pusheen is on it at first let me see if I can actually put it on I always do like terrible job when I do try-ons that's why even though I have gotten stitch fix for so many years you guys and I actually have a link below if you ever want to try out stitch fix I don't do try-ons because I'm like a mess when it comes to doing that so this is actually really cute I feel like very like luxe and sophisticated in this little robe so I am super stoked on this um let's keep going so everything is all branded and packaged in like Pusheen styling all of this minty green and pink um there's some Pusheen cafes out there in the world which are obviously closed right now but if I ever have the opportunity to go to one of them I'm totally going so this was another spoiler what I'm pulling out and another one that I was actually really excited about and you'll see why but look at this packaging it is just so cute so adorable so it's actually a tea infuser um, it says brew hot or cold tea with this bottle that comes with a removable strainer and if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time you know that I get tons of tea I have a couple tea subscriptions where I know I'm gonna get tea and then I also just get tea in a lot of lifestyle subscriptions which I understand it's like a nice thing but like I have a lot of tea and I have a lot of like loose tea because it's very popular these days to have like very fancy loose tea that's made in like small batches but um, then you have to have a nice infuser and I'm really looking forward to being able to use this it's so cute to make some tea iced tea that I can enjoy outside so it's got this like faux wood top and then it's just got Pusheen with the like florals on the outside and then you can see the tea infuser on the inside this is glass so it's double walled it actually feels really like weedy and well made and I like that it's small it would definitely go in your cup holder it would definitely go in my little cup holder on my little um, lawn chair that I have out on our deck right now so I can totally see myself like rocking this probe and drinking some nice iced tea out of this infuser this is actually really really nice let me open this up so it's got like you can feel rubber so it's nice and sealed and then I don't know how you remove this I think there's a little like handle so let me see if I can pull this out oh maybe you're not supposed to pull it out I think you can oh you can pull it out because you have to be able to like clean it really well right so I think this ring I don't know if that ring was supposed to come off but it did so the little gasket came off but here's the little bucket where you would put your tea in it does have like this little handle and then you put this back on and then I don't know if this was actually supposed to come off or not probably not but I can definitely stick it back on there or can go back inside I think it goes up inside there and then it that's how it will seal things aha I figured it out it just took me a second so I'll have to play with that a little bit later but you'll probably see this featured over on my Instagram once I get it going and brewing me some adorable tea awesome so very helpful to have that I'm happy to have that sorry guys I think I knocked you all right the next thing I'm seeing is a mini wall tapestry so that doesn't sound that doesn't sound like something I will use um, I can't imagine hanging a mini wall tapestry of Pusheen up but it's got like little grommets so that you could without having to puncture it now this material does not feel particularly great it feels like polyester um, it's 95% poly and 5% spandex so there's that um, it's not really a tapestry it's kind of like a handkerchief I guess you could use it as a little hair tie like that might like be kind of cute or somebody who's crafty could turn it into one of those cute little headbands with the little like bunny ears that might be cute like right you could do like one of these kinds of things I think that would be cute if you wrapped a headband with it but I would definitely wouldn't hang it on my wall I guess you could probably make it into a face mask but again the, the material is not right for that so maybe if I have any crafty friends out there who know how to cover headbands and make those little cute ones that look like they're tied on or maybe I'll figure out how to do it myself but that's what I would use that for and so that's what I would call it versus a lightweight wall tapestry but the print is kind of cute um, I think it'll be better like scrunched up but I definitely wouldn't hang this on my wall so that's that's kind of a miss but definitely salvageable I think the next item I'm seeing the box is kind of already open so this is an incense holder dish which I don't know how that goes with the theme of sprout but let me open it up and see what we've got so at least it's packaged really well 
So it really just looks like a dish. It says this dish can hold an incense stick and features a cute image of Pusheen. I think that's funny that they took the time to write that. So mine looks like it's got like a little mark on it. I wonder if that'll come off. So I'll have to scrub that, but you can see there's like this like line across the top. It's probably not reading, but there's like this gray line, but maybe I can just wipe that off. I'll just have to do it a little bit more. Here's the little hole for a little incense stick, but really this is just a little trinket tray, right? You could definitely put incense in there. You'd have to really stick it up straight so that the ashes would fall on top of the pusheen. But I think that this is a cute little dish. So what well, ceramic, well-made, um, cute little image. I'm a little bummed. It, maybe it's the transfer because maybe with how they transferred that image onto it, it left like a little edge. So let me see. There you guys can kind of see that gray line above his ear, but I should be able to like wipe that off, hopefully. They were actually really great, their customer service when I did reach out and there was damage to the sweatshirt that I got. They just sent me a replacement and I really appreciated it. And I actually really think this is cute. So if I can't get that off, I might reach out to them just because I would like to have it out and I don't want the little gray mark on it. Let's keep going. So this is huge. Um, they always include a vinyl, like I said, figurine, and this one is enormous. They did do this as the spoiler. I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging if possible, but this is just kind of ridiculous to me. So here is the Pusheen. It's a teeny tiny little Pusheen in a flower pot with these big green leaves behind it and it just just looks like kind of plasticky and goofy to me like this is not something that i would ever have out like i've seen like a lot of pusheens where the pusheen is actually like this big like the size of a little apple and they're actually really cute and themed differently um even here's my here's my little like desk vacuum like that's kind of like a cute little thing but these like plasticky leaves i feel like just make it look really cheap and goofy so if any of you love Pusheen, let me know. Um, there's also a buy, sell, and trade uh, forum over on Facebook where if you are a fan of Pusheen, Pusheen you should check that out because a lot of people resell their Pusheen box items because they only want a couple of the items or they just collect the figurines and they don't want the whole box. But that's where that will probably be winding up. Got a lot of items in this box though, I will say. This is heavy. This is what the weight of the box was. So this is a heating pad and it is heavy. So it's kind of a weird over overview of Pusheen from above and he's in that like green color. And let's see how you use this. It just, this is all the warnings about the bag itself. Let me open this up. So it says cozy up to this heating pad and warm yourself up. Now I don't have a heating pad like this, so maybe I would use this. But this is like a strange thing, I think, to have in a spring box. Like it doesn't really go with the sprout theme either. So it's really soft on the one side. And I guess this is like Velcro. So you can probably take this out to wash it, which is good. And it doesn't say anything about like whether or not you can like microwave it or anything to like heat it up. Because I don't, I don't know how else you heat it up, right? Because... How do you guys use these? I think I think they're like microwave safe, right? Because they're not like ones that you fill with water. They're just the hot beads. So um, I saw in some forum, I forget where, where they did all the spoilers and someone was saying that this was very much like a period box because you got the robe and you got the tea infuser and a heating pad. And I was like, oh, because I don't get any um, period boxes. And I was like, okay. I kind of wish I didn't know that, but I, I guess it would be a really good period box. I'm really like loving this robe, you guys. <laughs> All right, got two more items. So we got like seven items in this box, which again, for $44 or whatever it is, I think that's pretty good. This is very popular right now. So it's a how I feel notepad. Um, I will not be taking this out. It just says express yourself. It's got Pusheen's little sloth friend. Um, I forget what his name is. And then it's just got like this little checklist. So it's kind of like how they used to have your your Facebook status used to like you said, I feel or I am or whatever. And it says me today. And then it's got a little checklist and it's like happy, excited, angry, silly, meh. That's usually me. Lazy, super lazy, also me. Scared or blank. And then it says, I feel like this because. So it's just kind of like a little like how you're feeling journal notepad. But I mean, you could use it for anything really. But it's cute. It's not like a ton of paper, but I'll probably like tuck this into some giveaway in the future um, or just use it as scratch paper. Not like a big ticket item there, um, but that's all right. And then finally, oh, this, I did not know that this was in here in this box. And this is the last item. It's on the bottom and it's pretty cute. So it's just a little tray. 
It's like made out of very lightweight wood. So it just says an accessory tray and it's just got Pusheen kind of like wood burned in there. It's got little handles. It's not like a big tray, but you could definitely use it as your like little snack tray. I could definitely take my tea infuser out. I could take a book out there on the deck with this. I think it's actually really cute. I like how like natural looking it is. So even if you covered up the Pusheen, you could definitely have this tray out. Like I have my globe in tray back there, but I think this is adorable and it will definitely be appearing in some like flat lays and stuff. I think that's really, really cute. Um, very small and it could be just a nice tray. I have so many extra like bath and body products that are sitting in my hallway closet that I kind of need to organize and just put into like rows of you know this is a cleanser and this is a moisturizer and so this might actually be a good use for this little guy so I definitely like this um, my favorite item is probably the robe I think the most useful item is the tea infuser and then next I like the tray a lot the um, misses for me are the vinyl but that's gonna always be the case because I'm never gonna be a vinyl collector I also really like the little incense holder um, the notepad could care less and the heating pad I guess is a good thing to have on hand if I can figure out how to actually warm it up so again if you guys can give me some tips on that in the comments below that would be appreciated great Pusheen box I love this box I just think it is so much fun let me know what your favorite item is let me know if you like Pusheen if you do kind of like these whimsical fandom boxes and other than that have a great day guys I'll see you soon in my next unboxing